It's going to be a fun one. So here we've got Optimus folding a shirt, but it's teleoperated. Take a look on the right here. Every once in a while, you'll see the human's hands flowing and it's controlling this. But what's interesting about this situation here is that they're just testing. They're not testing at the brain right now. They're testing to see if the hardware is now at the point with the hand specifically and the wrist. Is it at the point that it's the dexterity, you know, is this ready? So the question I think we should be asking ourselves is, is this bot now kind of like the, the hardware at least, is that now getting to the point where it is a design complete? Uh, here's Elon just making sure that we know that this was not done autonomously, but it will be able to do this fully autonomously in an arbitrary environment in the future. This is Milan Kovac. He is one of the key directors of Humanoid Bot. And this is what he said. The reason why they're doing complex tasks through teleoperation is to verify that our current hardware has the dexterity to do those tasks. Now, it looks like that they've done that. And so now he's saying now it's going to be most, mostly software and AI work. And then they're doing this too because teleoperation lets you train end to end neural nets. And there's been grad students mobile aloha who showed that if you just do teleoperation 50 times you can then get the bot to do something autonomously with 80 percent success rate any comments on that hans yeah i think that we've seen a lot of very impressive things out of the optimus bot over the last year and you know a lot of coordination i think that the gen 2 reveal obviously surprised a lot of people and so the fact that they're this deep into the design process and it really does look like it's ready for mass manufacturing is important. And I think this video is another good proof case because exactly like Milan said, what they're doing now is they're validating that all of the hardware is up to any challenge that they can throw at it in the future once the software is good enough to do these types of tasks autonomously. So they are doing some validation testing. That's the reason that they're using these human operators is to really verify that the design is ready. And so I'd say that is a good sign. And hopefully we do hear some announcements on when manufacturing will begin, because I think, you know, it makes a lot of sense from my standpoint for them to begin stockpiling these bots ahead of the full completion of the software, because then they can get the production ramp moving. And as the software improves, you know, it'll be the same type of over-the-air software update to the Optimus fleet that the eventual RoboTaxi software update will be for the Tesla fleet as well. And so a very large overnight asset value increase. Um, and so it's good to see them moving ahead on making sure that it really is ready for that mass manufacturing stage.